I tell you people, as much as I make this look effortless, uh, there aren't half a lot of occasions where you look at what you've recorded after you've finished editing the thing and just kind of go, oh no, oh what did you do? So yeah, in between setting up audio correctly, setting up video resolutions correctly, and then editing spot on properly, there are an awful number of places that you can completely hose this stuff. Hello friends, I'm Colonel Failure, this is Transport Fever Peninsula. Today, actually showing you the full video rather than just a snippet of it. I apologise for that. I'm going to I'm going to put a checklist down somewhere that we do before recording anything to ensure that uh, we get a slightly higher pedigree of quality going on. I am I'm disgraced with myself. Well, I'm disgusted with myself. I'm disgraced in public. Um, anyway, last time around, uh, you will have seen some of me building. Uh, the route out from Arakeen to City 17, which is now done. And I was hoping that we would get a train here to uh, to be able to ride along the last leg of the route, because it's really quite a splendid beast. And uh, and it's, yeah, it is a splendid beast. And, and what I've done is uh, I've extended the route uh, to now hit City 17 as well. So the, uh, the full route goes Emerald City, Minas Tirith, well, Minas Tirith Hill Valley kind of in between, and then Arakeen, and City 17. Obviously, it's not done yet. Uh, we've got some double tracking to do throughout. We've got tons of double tracking to do throughout. There is a goods line that needs creating. But the final piece of the puzzle for now is going to be to roll forward to Alpha Complex and a new bus is available along with the LMS Corporation. Uh, cor corporation? Coronation. I will learn to read and be back <laughs> shortly after the bombastic intro. Okay, I say shortly after the bombastic intro, I mean immediately after the bombastic intro. Anyway, here is the uh, the journey that I wish to take. And we're heading out towards City 17 now, and you can, you can see there's a plane in the sky, which is nice. And uh, there's a, that's possibly a ship, or an island. Maybe both, that's definitely a ship. Uh, but we're coming in via the, uh, the green bridge windy mechanism of... I mean, look at this for a view. This is, this is a really good view. I know that I, I, I routinely do views that can be described as pretty good, but this one's great. And, uh, and we come in here onto the, uh, onto the perilous uh, subsidence risk track area here. And what are we looking at as far as passengers are concerned? There's two. Yeah, that's, that's not going to save me any money. Uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight passengers waiting. Okay, right, well, that's something I suppose we may... 6.9k from that. That's not ideal now, is it? Uh, now, we briefly flirted with being profitable on this route a couple of years ago. Since then, we've not flirted with profitability at all. Uh, simply because we're not filling out in terms of passengers. Uh, so if we look at the Gen 2 mainline here, we've got 800 grand in the red at the moment. Less than ideal. Uh, the uh, Asgard to Arkham route is also burning cash, as is Rapture to Elmore. But both of those are really old services, which means they're going to be a bit slow, so their demand is not going to be at top peak. Um, and uh, yeah, and that's that's the problem there. We need to we need to look at that sooner rather than later. On the plus side, however, the the big hitters we've got a lot that are doing 200 grand plus. I mean, you could possibly say that food transfer down there is a is a 200 grand route. So that's that's good. We're easily carrying the unprofitable routes at the moment, but the goal, of course, it has to be no unprofitable routes. Yes. On the subject of unprofitability, I'm going to need to come through here for this track to, to, to do the next leg. And that's... There is, I mean, there's no way of describing it other than it's going to hurt. Uh, now then, what should we do? I think we go up that side, like so. So if we assume that we, we maintain a straight line there, the destruction level is, is well, it's significant. And that in itself is, well, it's, it's not really what you want. Um, but more concerning is going to be being able to connect both sides of the town together afterwards because there isn't a lot of real estate to play with here so going under or over whichever seems to be the uh, the, the optimum there's no uh, there's no 
there's no guarantees that either will actually work, and I might end up having to do a level crossing, which is something we don't like doing unless we absolutely have to. And I think this may be one of those cases. But the fact that we're going to be taking out pretty much this whole street is, well... It's, it is what it is. Uh, anyway, before we get to that, I think we'll probably start at the other end. Uh, now, we've been doing this for a little while now, so, uh, so we're already at the point where, uh, where we've done it for quite a bit. Well, that was, that was a reductive sentence. Um, but I did, hopefully, once I hit uh, Alpha Complex, we can then do something interesting with a freight line running down there as well before turning ourselves and our attention to a slightly different project. And I imagine it may well be turning back to shipping again, but uh, let's not talk about the future in the present. Let's talk about the present in the present and how we're going to make a rail station work in AC. Now, here are your choices as I see it. The, the, the question is, where is Alpha Complex going to connect to in the future? I think a rail line to Rapture is, is not a goer. Uh, too, too big a bridge. More bridge than I am, strictly speaking, comfortable with. And therefore, well, that's, you know, that's, that's, a, that's ruled out. However, a route that comes in maybe Zion Elmore and then winds its way round into a station could work quite nicely. The obvious one is going to be uh, Raccoon City and Mega City 1 and whatever lies beyond that. Uh, and then I think we branch from Raccoon City to Caprica as well. So what would the reason for, for kind of pontificating on this point is which way do you want your station pointing there, Chief? And honestly, not entirely certain. If we had modular stations now, it would make life a lot easier. But I'm feeling kind of here may well be the uh the the way to the way to rock and roll now it's going to be it's going to be a bit pricey although i could knock this building out and use that as the as the foundation point for this i'm going to knock this building out under grand thank you good then pause the game so that the uh, game doesn't get any funny ideas i've got four million in cash and then a further four and a half million in the bank that's easily enough to get us started here uh so we'll start out by just gentling this a little and then we shall get ourselves a station and see where we go from there now i'm going to want a uh, a freight station at some point do i want it here or will it be more exciting right alongside yeah it will it'll definitely be more, more exciting right alongside the oil well here uh, is that a well or a refinery it's a refinery right alongside the refinery here no that's the well Right alongside the oil well here. Make your mind up. We can go either way with this. And uh, and then uh, and then what? Well, never mind that for now. Yeah, there's the refinery look. That's the oil well. Yeah, I know. You've played this enough that you, you should be able to tell the difference between the two. Uh, right, okay. So here's the, the, the station placement that we're going for. Now, I've, uh, I've introduced all of the varying mods that I've collected over the... Uh, over the years of playing this, and uh, I'm going to be honest with you here, most of them I've never really tinkered with that much because they kind of go like, here's an arrow pointing at a line. Uh, this one is an arrow pointing at several lines. Ooh, good, I suppose, maybe. Um, hmm, yes, fantastic. That's, that's clearly what I'm going to need. This one has got two crossed arrows. Uh-oh, trouble. Uh, so, yeah, I'm the, I, I could spend the time and poke them and, and figure out exactly what they're all about, but uh, who's got that kind of time? Right, okay, so we're going to go with traditional, but I'd quite like uh, the old bendy platforms uh, switched on, which, which don't appear to be a factor at the present time. Uh, bendy platform? No, mate. No bendy platform for you. I'm also studiously not electrifying any of this. Now... I started out doing that, going, no, 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 I'll add electrification later if it's needed. But apparently goes like, well, actually, could you get away with not electrifying it ever? And, and just running diesels. Um, it is quite a long route, and therefore you're going to want some, some relatively high-speed diesels to do the job. But high-speed diesels do exist, so there is that. Oh, will you just come on? Now then, which way are you pointing? 
I'm pointing the wrong way. Okay, right. Well, point the right way. Yeah, but then I'm not pointing the right way for any of these future connections that you want. You know what you want here? Don't. You want a bendy station. All right, okay. Well, let's go generic. What's that? A progressive counter curvature station. Crumbs. No. Uh, d d d speak to me of the generic station and don't you dare crash. Thank you. Uh, right. So, use planner. No, thanks. Um... Why don't you use the planner? Because I'll have to learn how to use the planner, and I I, I just want to get on with it. Uh, right, number of tracks. Let's go with five. The reason for five is, uh, is that will then afford us a couple of terminals, uh, a couple of terminating tracks, along with uh, at, least, uh, at least the opportunity to, to, to whistle through it. Now then, whoa, 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 whoa. you went way too far there. And, right, so if you're coming in here, right, which is the straight line from City 17, then it really doesn't help for Raccoon City, which is going to be our major onward thrust. Uh, Elmore, Toontown, Zion, that kind of region will come in probably straight through the mountain area here. So it's less unhelpful there. Uh, yeah, but I, we're going to go with a we're going to go with a bit of a bend. Put a bit, put a kink in it. No, you're going to want more kink than that. How much kink? That's that's more like it. And then of course we can uh, we can now spin that in the direction that we want. Now, this is uh, this has taken a turn for the pricey all of a sudden. Uh, and also, you know, it's maintaining the same turn of the. It's not going to work. Uh, right, platform length is only two sixty. I want a two forty platform. Oh, looks! This is this is going to be expensive. And then what? Well, we're not using the planet, right? If you put that that slope source menu, no, I don't want any source. Thank you. I just want a platform, uh, roof length. Uh, oh, do we want quartic uh, narrowest extremity width? Don't know. What does that even mean? Uh, I mean, don't assume for a second that I've got a degree in maths. You know why? Because I haven't. We're just going to... I just want a bendy station, right? I I don't need to, uh, to you know, further my career with a, a anything. Right. Thank you. Let's now speak with uh, this, and then let's ease it back out a bit. Let's try triple three here. And then I will... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. No, no, you can't align. Okay. All right, so that approach will work. It means that most of these platforms are going to be termini. Uh, the other thing that we could do, wait for it, is something like a triangle station. No, it's a half triangle station. Yeah, you're playing with fire. Uh, let's have a look. Oh, well, stick down 200. 200 seems to be quite pronounced. Good. Right. I say that. But, you know, maybe not. Uh, no, leave you going straight as an arrow there. And then this one, we want to go good right. Ideally at the other end. Just, you know, just if that's if that's something you could see your way clear to doing. I mean, I can, I can work with this. Uh, but we're going to want to point this over that way, right? And so if we align this like so then we've got our seven, uh, City 17 inbound curve there. Actually, this is probably going to be the better way to go. Uh, and then we can just do a bit of smoothage, although that does not look long enough. If you want 240, two, oh, what? What? We can do something else with C. All right, what does C do? Um, more Benditure. Uh, okay. Well, good, I suppose. Right, okay, now I need to flatten this turkey, actually. I need to make sure it's long enough, which it isn't. And then he said, right, let's, oh, nice, good. Except I don't need it that long. So, uh, so cheers. Platform length A, 240 meters. Yeah, platform length B, 240 meters. Right. Common radius part length percent. Yes. Can I just opt in? 
Uh, right, okay, there we go. How's that looking? That look, That's looking okay. So these two straight ones that we've got here, they're going to be termini. Uh, the, uh, the bending track that we've got there is not going to be termini. But everything is largely pointing in the direction of Raccoon City. So that's what I want, what I really, really want. And uh, uh, now we're going to uh, we're gonna just just goose the hillside a little in order to make that work. There we go, right. Goose it a little bit more in a flattened direction, and you never know your luck. Right, and how's that? Come on. There you go. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. No. So what we're what we're searching for here is where are the areas of uh, of track laying that are causing us the consternation at the current time. See, I feel like that should work. So we've got steep edge. I can't even point at it. I can only point at the screen with my hand. Um, all right. So we've got a steep edge up here that we want to uh, erode, and then we've got another one there that we want to erode but I, I feel like that's going the wrong way so uh, that's a bus stop well done in fact it's the same bus stop used previously right there we go now how much there we go we've got it you've done it you're uh you're in business you could just take that i could possibly save a couple hundred grand though yeah but you won't though will you you'll just oh no hold on you ask oh hello it's getting a lot cheaper all right, that was, this was worth a wiggle. I take it all back. You're a genius. And there, sold. Ready? Yes? Taking it? Yeah. Cool. Now, it's maybe a smidge more modern a station than we'd like in 1942, but uh, we ain't got a choice. There isn't uh, anything that comes close to that at the current time. Now then, we need to get roads in, and we can probably, given the, the lack of things that I've bulldozed, we can get the game rolling again. And uh, and that will uh, provide us with sufficient slush fundage to, to make this work. Right, now, if you go down to the woods today, don't. Uh, you go over there, and a bit of this. This would be nice. There's a bit of a bit of a wiggler in there. I can see the ramp from here. But that's okay. I To be honest, I'd rather have the connection at the moment. We're going to fix that when we decide to spend 200 million on uh, on doing nothing but fixing up uh difficulties with road if i keep you flat yeah there we go that's it and then you come straight through there like that yeah, that's looking all right so what did i say uh well you said many things these two are terminuses termini uh whereas this one is going to uh, leisurely jaunt its way up to what we've got going on there now, in order to do that, for some reason I decided it was really clever to have these pointing directly at an oil well. Hmm, so smart. Uh, however, ooh, ah, ooh, ooh, the opportunity that affords us is, uh, is to maybe split out a goods line here uh, to do just a gentle, uh, kind of a little tiny little station there that hauls, uh, that hauls unrefined oil over to the... Uh, Oh, to yonder refinery. Oh, that that would be exciting. Now, you don't want to do so much that you cannibalize your existing very highly profitable route, but uh, but in, in order to up the tempo a bit, that could be quite exciting. Or we could mothball this one entirely and do the whole thing by train. Now, I have exper I, I've experimented off camera with running a train from here to there. Let me tell you, it doesn't work. Well, it does work. You can make it work. But uh, but what it doesn't do is it doesn't make you any money at all. In fact, it costs you an absolute fortune because there's there's no discernible distance between the uh, the source and the destination. And so it doesn't make any money. I know. Yeah, I know. That's a, that's a thing, apparently. So, uh, so, yeah. So we want to avoid doing that. You're, you've chosen the wrong track here. What you want to do is just put a bit of track in there. Are we going up or down? Well, it's coming through, so it's it's tough to say for certain. Well, what if you were to back it up a little? Now, the reason for sticking this in, it's probably quite obvious, uh, is to ensure that I get as close as humanly possible to the edge of the uh, uh, of the oil well here, and then we uh, then we'll snap that to the uh, to the left hand track as we look at it now. 
It's unlikely I'll be able to afford it straight away, but uh, if we do that, 610,000. The speed's good too, actually. That's, that's not so bad. And then we could do the right track alongside, and what we don't do then is have any trouble in terms of clipping the, the side of the, the refinery. Uh, right, let's take the money out. No, not repaying. I'm borrowing it all again. The bank manager goes, whatever, just, you know, uh, I'm, I'm here to fuel your progress there, uh, bold capitalist, and therefore you do what you, what do you mean? Construction's not possible. Shut up. Uh, construction's not possible. Flipping is. Double track that. Right, and get over here. You grab, go. No, can't be done. Why not? Look, I accept that occasionally I build things that are somewhat challenging to get done, but in this case, you're going to need to give me a, a clue. Let's take it to there. Why is it slowed down to 28 miles per hour? Because it's, it's de-clipped there, look. All right, do that. Then do that. It's still de-clipped. Oh, no, it is, it is clipped. It is, it is attached. What? Right, that's more like it. A terrain alignment collision with the tunnel. Right, well, that's, you know, that's familiar territory. We can, we can do something about that. And often, the solution is just to come the other way. Although, this time, I don't think it's going to be so chipper. Oh, what do you know? Fixed it. See, game, all it takes is a little bit of perseverance and, uh, and to do things in small segments in order to make it happen. I think we do still have a 28 mile per hour segment here. Uh, let's call up the speedometer. Yeah. Yeah. Now, here's where I get dicey with myself as we go, well, you could delete it. And then see if you can lay it properly a second time. I don't, yeah, but you haven't done anything differently, though. There you go. If you take that bit out as well. Yeah, you see? I had a, I had a feeling that that might be what you ended up with there. Curse you, incredibly convenient modded station. I point the finger squarely at you for this. Ah, hold on. No, it's colliding. You can't do anything with that. Uh, yeah, good. Oh, 31's better. Do you want to give me an advance on 30? No, you don't want to give me an advance on anything. Ooh, well, at least it's got a kink in it now. Means that, you know, there is some, some value to it. All right, we're just going to accept this and then pretend it didn't happen. Oh, I see. Oh, I hate everything. All right, take it back. Can I have my little 28 mile an hour piece of track again, please? Yeah, I know. It made me unhappy, but not as unhappy as not having it connected at all. That does 118. All right. And that, that doesn't do anything. No, it doesn't. Should have left it alone. If it's working, it's working. Why can't I get 28 miles an hour now? We don't know, do we? We've got no idea. Okay, right. Uh, plan C. Delete this side of the track. Do the other side first. All right. Plan C, let's face it, is chancy. Right. Good. Yeah, make sure we're all the way. There we are. Okay. Do not inadvertently click on the station. Since when have I ever done that? like once every two episodes on average you misclick there we go 58 slowing to 58 is acceptable uh well compared to 28 it is anyway especially since whatever service it is is either slowing down or accelerating at that moment therefore we will accept it now i would very much like to put a crossover in here but uh to do so would be both madness and folly at the same time folly madness Right, you rock along there. Now, I'm thinking your freight station lives here. And then we run it up the passenger line. Now, I know you're all like aghast at such a horrendous notion. Or, okay, all right, if we don't like that, we put a, we put a station in here. And then we go under just about everything to emerge at our point of exit there. Now, that's far less fun but at the same time, probably far more profitable. Yes. Right, where's my station? Station's there. Now, we can either maintain our heading and go this side of the bridge, 
or we can take a swerve, potentially ruin fewer people's lives, and come out on this side of the bridge instead. And the way we're going to go with that is largely going to be decided by uh, by the next course of, uh, of terraformance here. Right, if you come out, yeah, that's, that's quite a lot of embankment, and we're going up, we're taking a steep downhill. Now, we've got another bit of hillside there, which is more or less at the same altitude we are now. Elevation, I should probably say, rather than altitude. You've gouged through that. I would have, I would have gone for a tunnel, to be honest. Might have looked quite pleasing. Do we have that? We don't. Okay. Well, then it's just going to cost what it costs. Uh, 184k to do this bit, actually, is not so bad at all. Well, we're on a separate island, which means I'm going to use a different style of bridge. 124? Yeah. Or 75? No. Uh, steel bridge, box, pillar, stone, no. Wooden bridge, stone, pillar, no. It's, we're, we're a little bit late in the day now for a... For a no. Uh, for a... Uh, for a wooden bridge. I might stick one in later because they look jolly good. Uh, the problem is that the game w rattles forward as you carry on doing your behaviour and uh, and you're past an era where, where it makes any sense. Modern Metro for Hamburg. Stuff Hamburg. We're nowhere near Hamburg. Oh, it's a lovely town, but we're nowhere near it. Uh, there, no. No, you always end up using the flipping brick bridge. Use this ugly concrete rubbish. Oh, you're really selling it to me. I know. Oh, no, hold on. Use this brick stuff with green hand railings. They are green as well. All right, all right, that's top speed. Are you satisfied with this angle? Yes, and I think this means that we're going to go to the left of the road bridge. Hokey dokey, off we go. Uh, right, you maintain your altitude to stay as a bridge so that the road can get underneath. All right, the road's not going to get underneath while you're pursuing this somewhat acute angle, so uh, let's let's knock that back. Rail takes precedence every time. Let's rock. There you go. Yeah, to so about there. Now then, how's that as a as a, an altitude difference? I thought you were going to use the word elevation from here on in. I just like altitude. You know, it's it sounds like it's more uh, like an aeroplane. Yes. Still gouging, I see. Yeah, we are still gouging, but that's okay. Gouging is life and uh, and fury and so forth. Uh, okay, now then. Yeah, okay, all right. We'll go for about here. Now, I'm making this angle a little bit angly just because at the moment. Now, I need to put the road in before I resume. Oper Hold on. You, the operations are still rolling. You need to put a road back in now. All right. Well, because I like them, I'll, I'll even upgrade the road a bit if I get the opportunity. Let's let's have a look. In fact, I'm not entirely certain anybody's using this road. So why I'm why I'm giving them a a splendid new multi carriage system it, it, it beats me. Collision. Not a collision. Okay. Now you see when you've done that, all you need to do is is make this road make sense. So that it doesn't look like, you know, you've just kind of gone like, oh, there's a bridge coming. Right, knock a hole in something. Jolly Green, no. Stop it. Use something else. That's horrible. Uh, ooh, a bit of a girder bridge for your, for your main road. I mean, it's expensive. I, uh, I'll grant you, but, uh, but it looks all right. We'll go with that. Yeah, that looks dreadful. It really, really does. It looks absolutely horrendous. Uh, we'll we'll give that another go. There you are. Why have you got gaps? I don't want I don't want to be able to see through the bridge. Don't make me embank you. You're embanked. There you go. Actually, the embankment looks pretty good. Uh, right. Okay. And then do something similar over here to make this uh, this make sense. There you go. Get rid of that. Do this. Now, I mean, this is expense that I can probably uh, I could probably avoid, but I'm not going to avoid it. Uh, we're going to uh, going to make this look sensible. There you go. Like that. See, we've still got this flipping great S bend going on there, but you know, it's that's a that's a detail. Also, what are you going to do about that? 
Well, firstly, we got no we got no room for dirt roads in this bold vision of the future. So uh, we'll uh, it's a bold vision of the past at the moment. That's as may be, but we are working towards a bold vision of the future. A smidge steep, one might say. And uh, and one would possibly be correct to say so. But that's all right. Now, next job is going to be to build this bridge. I don't know if five million's going to do it. But we're certainly going to give it the good old solid college try. And five million will just about do it on cheap, terrible bridge. Does it afford us sufficient uh, chuffing space for a... Uh, for a ferry of some kind to get underneath. It does. You've also finished your route there just a little bit low down. So if we were to go a smidge further... Now, I mean, this, this, the life of this uh, building here is forfeit anyway, so I mean, there's, there's no getting away from the fact that I'm going to nuke it. Yeah, you know what would be good here? is some kind of uh, bridge road mod. Now, in the... Uh, where are we? Here we go. Um, oh, wait. Have you pressed... You you went a button almost too far there. Get off that bendy bridge. We do have the really rather splendid and uh, incredibly attractive and likely to make your game crash uh, bridge pillar collision special here. And it's great. It's it's absolutely it's fantastic to look at. I just remember the number of times I've crashed a game trying to place it in the past. So there we go. We've got a quick look at it. We're not going to use it. Right, what are we going to do? Well, the other option, of course, is to snap to the bridge. That is the other option. And that's actually a smart move. Because that's just saved me a good chunk of money. The only issue is... That that is is that now triggering these yellows, or were those yellows there already? Well, you can get rid of this to see if, if you turn this on. No, the yellows were not there. So potentially, you would be killing your uh, your your sea route. We don't want to kill the sea route. That's a bad thing. All right, let's uh, let's go again. Go from here over to there. No, I haven't got the hold on. Why have you suddenly put the price up? What have I done to... Well, you're building it a lot higher, for starters. All right, okay. Well, if we start down here. There you go. Don't put the price up on me. That's just going to make me call you rude names. I think that's not quite tall enough. But that, it might be. This... Now, you see, the, it's, it's creating yellows everywhere I go. I think... I mean, we've definitely got a green path there. And that one certainly looks like it might do it. I'm not going to build the bridge like this. Just, you know, you can relax. It's okay. We are going to try and maintain the same height as this disgusting stone texture. Now, close up. You know, if you were playing a first-person shooter or something, and uh, and you had a stone texture like that, it would barely register. It would look fine. And you go, yeah, it's a stone wall, isn't it, Gov? Uh, but when you've, uh, when you've got a lot of it, and you're looking at it from distance then it's, uh, it's slightly more obvious. I might use the box girder bridge. I might not, because that's just ramped the cost up to 8 million. I might use something else that is not the box girder bridge. Uh, green railings, for sir? It's nice. I would love to be able to manage to stay at the same height as the road bridge, though. I thought that by snapping to it... Because uh, road... You can snap rail to road... With relative ease, uh, you don't. Uh, the road does not snap to rail, but rail will snap to road. There you go. That appears to be matching the altitude there. Elevation. Shut up. Uh, height. Let's say height. Oh, all brick and green in perfect unity there. The brick's a bit pale for my taste. But I think we might take we might take that. I, either that, or I could just continue mucking around with this for the next forty-five minutes. What do you think? I think we I think you commit to something and just make it happen, and hope that the ships can still get through. Yeah, that's the that's the biggie, though, isn't it? Right. Oh, it's just become more expensive because I've increased the uh, the cost of the the material that I'm using. 
You've already got max loan. Well, that's unfortunate. Uh, six and a half million. Where are we? June thirtieth. Oh, we're about to hemorrhage another million. Right, up a tempo. Right, we'll just we'll ride this out till we've got the cash. Now it shouldn't take too long. We're making at least a million in profit a month, um, so uh, it really shouldn't take that long. And if we manage to scamper in just before the end of July, then that should work out nicely. In fact, all it really requires is for one ship to arrive and uh, uh, and dispatch its cargo, and and we're we're frisky. So uh, let's see how we get on. It's the tenth, and we've got five and a quarter million in the bank. Yeah, I need a bit more than that. Six and a half is what we're looking for. Five and a half, and it's the 15th. Okay, good. I hope you're on the edge of your seat. I'm going to make reading out numbers sound thrilling. 5.8, and it's the 19th. Ten days to go. 6.3. We're going to make it. Uh, 22nd, 23rd, 24th, 20, still the 25th. There we go. Bang, bought. Right, good. Expensive? Yes. Necessary? Arguably not. But have I built it? Yes, I have. Are ships getting underneath it? For some reason, they are. Hooray for us and all who sail in us. Uh, that's, uh, that's come off like a treat. And that's going to wrap it up for today. Um, so that's the pricey bit done because all, well, all we need to do from here is that, which is like 150 grand. You've got a bit of a slowdown here. We can maybe address that with a, a slightly different angle of attack uh, to reach the station approach there. But that's okay. Now, all that remains is the, uh, is the bulldozing cost at the tail end of City 17. And I think I managed to reduce that a little. So we're still going to go through this crossroads, which is horrendous. Uh, but then coming out of there, we actually get to go across this unoccupied area, which is good because... Maybe if I were to then throw all caution to the wind, bulldoze this lot, lay out a, a, a grid to, to give them as much space as possible to build in, we could make that work. There's a lot of maybe going on in there, I agree. Uh, anyway, that's it for today. I've been Colonel Failure. Uh, let's have a look and see if the new passenger line is getting any closer to being profitable. It is. It's now only half a million in debt per year rather than one million so uh we're getting there slowly but surely we are uh, well actually we're, we're getting at a reasonably good pace uh a few more trains on that line we'll sort it out but i want to get a few, one more connection in before we turn it into you know a mega dinosaur type thing i mean colonel failure thanks for watching i'll catch up with you next time cheerio Okay, almost there. Almost connected up the Minecraft island with Alpha Complex. And then we'll look at making a goods line work. And that should take off quite quickly. Now, the, the thing with the, the Minecraft island is the, the main reason that we're here in the first place is for stone. Now, the, the distance to the, uh, the, the stone manufactorum is it's still quite some way to go. But we can at least make oil work and fuel work in the short term, which should iron out the kinks in terms of, of routing. Because I've got freight trains and passenger trains sharing lines on occasion. And that's, that's going to lead to mischief, I can assure you. Uh, so there may be some need to expand later on or widen let's say uh but there are, but the the island isn't going to afford that in very many places which is what makes it really interesting uh because i'm going to have to uh i'm going to have to you know try some try some novel approaches to make it work uh anyway uh next time around i'm pretty confident we'll have that completed passenger route and i may i may whiz it forward enough so that i've got the cash to put a couple more trains on there uh, yeah, I, i'm not thrilled with the zephyr but it's doing a good job at the moment but i think maybe replacing it with the red arrow nice no, electric that's no good i don't know we'll we'll have this discussion next time maybe <laughs>